and welcome along and welcome to a brand new series here on Frilling. We are going to be taking over this farm ahead of us here. We're starting from scratch and uh, we're going to try and build ourselves a nice little uh, vintage equipment farm here on the map. Uh, so just to go over the settings we've got. We are, of course, starting from scratch. Uh, we are running uh, most of the time on a 10 times time scale. Uh, we have normal economic difficulty and traffic on. Seasonal growth is on. We're going to be doing two day months after this first day. Uh, and we've got the snow on as well. Uh, all of the other crops and growth stuff is on. So crop destruction, periodic plowing, field stone and weeds are all active. Uh, we have uh, not got the automatic engine start. So we have to start our own stuff. Uh, and the stop go braking is off. We've got the trailer fill limit on and our fuel usage is high. Our AI workers do not fill anything. And uh, we've got both combine experience and the exhaust extension on. Um, but both of these are at their default settings. So let's grab our farm. And our farm is located over here. And I just want to grab this first. And my initial land I'm going to buy is field 23 for 111,139. And field 15 as well. So that we have a, a nice little start bit here that we can expand out of without having spent too much of our money off the get-go. So now we're going to head down to the shop. We need to get some equipment. But before that, this video is sponsored by G Portal. G Portal has over 20 years of game hosting experience and are passionate about providing the best possible setup for your dedicated server. They have over 14 server locations worldwide and support more than 100 games, including Farming Simulator 22. Setup is easy. Just select the game and then the number of days and number of slots that you want your server to have. You can adjust these, select your location, and after entering your details and payment method, your server is ready to go. Managing your server is just as easy too. It can be found all under the easy to use dashboard. So what are you waiting for? Get 10% off your own Farming Simulator 22 crossplay multiplayer server from G Portal using the link in the description below. So let's come and get some equipment and we'll start off by seeing what's in the sales. And we've got actually quite a few bits that I think are going to be very useful to us on here. Uh, I, the SIP Pioneer, this should be absolutely perfect for us to collect grass. We've got a fermenting silo on the farm. So what if we've got, what is the difference between the small and the big filling volume? Uh, the big is 13. So we'll go for the, uh, uh, which is 13,000 litres. Zion, we can go wood or aluminium. Uh, that had so little for the aluminium, but I prefer the wood. And attacher type, I want to put a low attacher on. I think that'll work much better. Uh, main color, we've got oh, the red or the black as an alternative, but I'll stick that to the white. And the rim color, uh, I'm going to actually go with the gray. I think that's much better. No number plate on this, so we will just buy that and that is 1904 perfect second item is this johnstone flatbed trailer this is again absolutely perfect for what we want on here uh, i don't think we're going to want to do many setups on here uh don't want to change the wheels i do want to put a beacon light on it uh we've got a low attacher again which is my preference uh, we want the EU tension belts because we're going to want to be strapping things down to this. Uh, we'll leave the color and the rim color on this. And uh, yeah, that's perfect. So we'll buy that as well. That's only 6,052. Uh, there's also a Matra trailer here. This is an awful lot of stuff straight off the bat. I, we've been fairly fortunate with what the shop has provided us here. Uh, I want uh, 11,000 litre, yeah, 11,000 litre capacity on this. It can go up to 1440, but they should do us quite well. BKT tires, uh, we'll leave it standard wheels, middle, uh, low, uh, 
hitch again because so many tractors have issues with the high hitch and the main color we leave this as orange um because that's the color that a used piece of equipment comes at and we have our first license plate so we've got a set license plate on here for no actually we should be able to do the whole thing so let's pick someone at random from the tractor driver level and above patrons and channel members and selected at random we've got gamer dragon thank you gd for your support your name is going on our first number plate here on furling and uh yeah so grdn7121 is the number plate i'm going with for you okay that and we're gonna buy that and again nice low price because this is used of uh 8123 and as we continue going through the used shop this tank is quite good it does water and it does slurry it's not very large uh oh actually we've got fairly small fields so i think yeah i think we will grab this tanker um i'm going to put a hose on it i don't think that makes any difference uh we'll go with the slurry tanker setup for now it can be a mobile water tanker and this may be useful for that later uh hose color i'm going to put the blue on it and we will buy that as well uh, that was six thousand six hundred and sixty three uh oh, actually some net wrap as well we'll just grab that quickly so whatever configuration that comes in because that's a used pile of net wrap and then we have this this is a tractor i absolutely wanted on here the only thing that i uh did uh move the used shop around a little bit so that we got a tractor initially and it came up with the fence xylon uh we're gonna put the michelin tires on it uh, we are doing no GPS on this series at all. And we've got to leave the color and the rim color because this is a used piece of kit. Selecting someone at random for the number plate. We have Blackmere. Congratulations to you. You have been selected at random from the tractor driver level patrons and YouTube channel members. And I've gone with BKMR to represent you on this number plate so we will okay that as well and uh that is going to be for this tractor with 147 horsepower it's only 36,837 this is a fantastic tractor for that price buy that and done and then finally we've got a cedar in here as well this is the massey ferguson 30 oh wow it's looking pretty white and uh and mad i think this is one instance where this looks fairly horrible and uh and we will restore its natural red uh massey ferguson color and yeah it seems to be set up so that it's got no signage on it so i want to put massey ferguson signage on it as well and uh and that i think will do it just sorts it out a little bit and uh 2086 for that let's buy that and okay so having a quick look at what we have in the used shop we've got uh our fence xylon tractor here um we've got the net wrap we've got this really tiny slurry tanker we've got a decent sized trailer uh, we've got the flatbed and we've got the uh, trailer here. Absolutely fantastic. So we want to try and get a load of this home. We may have to do this over a little while. What we have field-wise at the moment is field 12, which is ready to harvest. Yes. And we've got this grass field out here that's ready to cut as well. So uh, we kind of need a combine harvester to get started. And in fact... Looking at this, field four is ready too. So I've got my initial farm. How much money do we still have? 194. And we could pick this. Up. Yeah, if we're going to pick up a couple of fields straight off, I think picking up field seven as well would be a good choice. And that will give us two fields of canola to immediately get, for, uh, to get harvested. That means we're going to need a combine harvester and probably another tractor to do carting, I think. 
So coming out of the sales, let's have a look at the combines. And I think I'm going to go with the TX32. It's a little bit more expensive than the other class combines I've got here. Um, but it's got a slightly bigger, I don't know, it's got a smaller capacity on it. Um, but I really, really love this combine. And if this is going to be my final series on FS22, then uh, I want to be using this combine. We will put Michelin tires on it. Uh, we will put the manual discharge and we'll select somebody for the number plate. And congratulations to Pete Turner. You have been selected at random from the tractor driver level patrons and channel members. Pete fits on here really nicely. So I've gone with that. Uh, we'll go for a front and back placement and OK. So let's buy that too. 55,000. Our money is beginning to dwindle a little bit. And to go with that, we're going to need a header. That is going to be 20,000. And a header trailer, which again needs to have a nice license plate on it. And congratulations to Axion Grosso. You have been selected at random to go on the header trailer. So I'm going AXGZ502 for your number plate. And we'll buy that as well. Right, so with our combine here and uh, ready to be loaded up, let's jump in. We are running the realistic damage mod on here. So uh, probably uh, our Xylon will need some repairs. Let's start her up and head it out to the field. So 60,000 left to buy another tractor uh, and to buy, well, we're going to need something in order for us to actually work our, work our grass. We've got no mower at the moment. We've got uh, a few other bits and pieces we need to get. So... The next tractor we pick is going to be absolutely crucial. Let's bring this over to here. Connect that up. Yeah, maneuvering here is a little bit difficult to get this into place. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of space. We are not too far from our farm, I think. So, you know what? I might sell off the header trailer and we'll uh, we'll just negotiate our way around here with the header because it's not a very big header we've got on this combine and yeah we can get this down the road without too much difficulty so let's uh, get our combine back in fact yeah this is the road to our farm down here so we have no need for that header trailer. We'll get that sold and we can use the money for something else. Combine back to the field. I'm going to park this here. We need to lower the header and connect everything up. PTO is already done. And then back at the shop, we can get rid of that header trailer that we don't need. Little bit premature in buying that. So we'll sell that off. And then we need to pick a tractor to go on our trailer. So we're going with smaller stuff because we have a small farm here. And because we have just sold that header trailer after immediately putting their number plate on it, I am going to put uh, Axiom Grosso on the number plate for this, uh, the Deutz Agrostar. So Michelin tires... Uh, standard ones on there. Don't need a beacon light. Uh, don't need a front loader attacher on this. And main color. Yeah, we've got several color options on here. And I'm going to go with the slightly lighter green, I think. Unless, no, we'll go with the slightly lighter green. Uh, I quite like that. It gives it, it makes it a little bit brighter as well. And rim color. There's the dark gray. There's and there's the oh silver brush metal. That is the number plate. Uh, and yeah, uh, that is the color I want. And then the number plate will leave for Axion uh, because we just immediately sold the piece of kit. Uh, his number plate was originally on. So let's 
by that. That is going to be 28,000 for a 40, 143 horsepower tractor. Absolutely perfect. Yep. And there we go. This then can now uh, get on our trailer. And we'll head down to the field with it. This is one of the best starting tractors for start from scratch. 143 horsepower for just 30,000 is absolutely cracking. It's a, a nice classic tractor as well and uh, and works so, so well. So bring this up behind our combine and we'll get stuck in with the combine. We should be able to get both of these fields finished today. No reason why we can't do that and start getting stuff back. We also already have some animals on here. So we've got some cows. Uh, we've got some sheep. Let's turn that off. Turn the whole combine on. Need to unfold the combine. Right, then turn the whole combine on. And away we go into our crop of uh, canola. And yeah, this is going to be a great start. I don't know what we've got in the way of storage. And oh, wow. Look at the state of the yield on this. That is really, really poor. One trip around the field and we have 18% full. So this is not going to be uh, the most high yielding of fields. I think we'll end up uh, maybe getting one full load off the combine here if we're lucky. We've got a, a thousand liters so far. And yeah, look at We've actually got an area, a spot down the bottom corner of this field where it's red, where it's down to 50% yield. There's a lot of potential in this field then. We could double the uh, amount of crop that we're getting off here. Uh, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth into improving this field and, uh, and getting it all done. Uh, we need to get it scanned, which is the only uh, bit of uh, modern setup we have on here. We won't pay for a scanner. We will uh, have to, to pay to get it scanned, uh, which is, again, a, a little bit closer to how uh, a vintage setup here would work. And, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll then be able to get some lime on here and some... and get it fertilized and everything and vastly improve uh, the absolutely dire yield we're currently pulling out uh, we are gonna be though up to about 35 uh, 38 percent i think uh, by the time we finish the second headland i want to do four in total that'll give this combine enough space to turn around and then uh, we can cut in three headlands in and we're just verging on 50 percent in fact we haven't even made 50 percent uh, off that it's gonna be a fairly tough uh thing to get a full tank even off this i think we're gonna do one more headland because as you can see with the turning circle of the combine we can't turn quickly enough to get uh, to, to get round in the headland we've got there is the 50 percent though I, I think we might get a full trailer off both of our fields here so uh we'll crack on and with any luck we will uh, have at least uh what 10,000 liters off here uh that will give us 10,000 pounds from our initial harvest I think we, uh, as I said, I think we can double that. Fourth header is done. Let's swing around. And we're going to come as much down the middle of this field as we can. So I think that's about there. Set our angle at 180 through the field. And cut down it so the whole thing can be opened up. We're coming up to 72% full. We've got about four rows left, I think. 
and the field has opened up very nicely but it's it's not a huge amount but that's kind of to be expected these are not big fields they were it wasn't expensive and uh, it should be enough to at least get us going on here uh, we kind of want to put in high value crops in these fields uh, canola is a good start uh, i think like we've been doing on Purbeck, I think sunflowers are a great way to go for getting us a lot of money off a small amount of land. Uh, possibly sorghum as well. Uh, we also have to consider, though, we do need to have something uh, that will allow us to uh, get straw for our cows. So we're going to have to mix a, another crop in there. In fact, the best crop might be oats. We need oats for our horse, and uh, we can make a good amount of value, a uh, good amount of money off oats, uh, better than wheat or barley, and they produce straw. So yeah, I think oats might be a good crop to go with on this map. Coming to the end of the row, and we are 80% full. So let's come in with our trailer, get this all collected up and we've got manual discharge on on the combine so let's uh unload that and not bad for the first field our environmental score is of course already taking a pounding because we have a lot of work to do with that uh, however let's have a look at the yield map on here and it's not quite down as low as 50 Everything on here is between uh, 75 and 55%. But considering that this is a uh, a pretty good field, I think. What have we got on the uh, setup? So yeah, its yield potential is 121%. So there's a lot we can do to improve this field. Now, something I want to do before I continue is our Xylon here. This, I think, could do with a repair. Uh, it's got five damages on it already. So while we're down here at the shop, let's grab ourselves a repair pallet. There we go. So we'll grab a servicing pallet. We're going to need this anyway. Yes. And we'll start up the Xylon. Where is the repair pallet? Ah, it's in the middle here. Okay, so that's going to uh, block things for a bit. But we're all right, I think. So we'll get this scanned. Uh, and then I think we're probably going to want to get this back to the farm. To get it repaired. Although we could leave a lot of this here. I did want to get a third tractor. But I think it's out of our price range right now. So let's bring this up. And we will start the inspection. And that will be ready in an hour's time. So that should give us enough time. To get the combine to the next field and get that harvested as well so that is down at uh field four we'll head out of here uh, oh the roadway to it is just here uh, so we'll head to field four we'll uh we'll get that harvested as well and we'll see where that leaves us about the same size as field 12 so not expecting us to really end up with more than a trailer's worth but at least that is then a trailer's worth off these two fields okay cut in a little bit here lift that up back it out and that will just allow us access to this field without running over any of the crop and we can easily get in here and get started and what is our yield like on here got no yield map at the moment that's a little bit odd we do have something very strange going on with this field we ha only have a yield map for the very bottom corner here and it's the same on here why do we have Ah, because I've turned all this off. So most of the field here 
has uh oh wow is running at 60 percent 65 percent uh it's an even lower yielding field than the previous one and uh so yeah we'll be lucky i think to get even 80 percent full combine off here so this should all fit in one trailer i don't need to worry about having the tractor and trailer over here uh for a good long while um but yeah it is not a high yielding field this uh this one we know is a, a worse set of soil than our first field uh, i think this is uh slightly down on uh, a maximum yield i think this is like, has like a 91 percent yield yeah the yield potential is 91 percent so uh, it's mainly silty clay it's not a great field and uh, and as a result we are not getting the greatest uh, level of crop off here i think this field must be slightly bigger then as a result because we are 45 percent full and we are only just starting the fourth headland so we, we definitely at this stage in comparison to the other field have more crop uh, we hadn't hit 45 percent at this point we we 50 percent i think when we finished the headland uh, on this we're gonna be nicely over 50 percent by that point uh just wondering if the middle of the field it's it's weird the map feels like we don't have a huge amount to go but looking at this it, it definitely feels like we have at least as much in the middle here as we had on our first field so i'm not i'm not quite sure what is uh what is happening with this here yield is definitely down on the previous field uh, I don't know exactly how much we're going to end up with here. We'll find out in a minute because we're going to start our cutting as soon as we get to the end of this next row. Yeah, this definitely feels like a lower amount now. We've only just gone over 60%. Uh, there might be 20% left in this field, but I'm not really sure about it. We've only got about six rows to go and it's it's not yielding high at all this field so this will not fill a trailer our, our trailer doesn't quite take two full loads off the combine um but we only had 80 percent on the first field uh, i think we're only going to have a maximum of 80 percent on here we've got 15 percent to go with probably four more rows off here and i don't think at that it's actually going to end up being uh, an 80 percent full combine off this field one thing i am very pleased with on this field is that i seem to have cut in at a perfect width uh the final row here we have got the entire row in the header of the combine and then if we go and have a look on the other side i think we're going to be very similar on this side yeah look at that uh the entire width in the header of the combine that is perfect absolutely wonderful we are at 75 percent. so yeah we're not gonna hit 80 there is not enough uh canola left in this field and in fact we are going to be left with 76% in total. So let's go grab our tractor and trailer and get this emptied. Wow, we are not even going to hit 10,000 litres off these two fields. They are both pretty small yielding fields off the bat. I, th I think next year, with a little bit of TLC on these fields and uh, a little bit of work, We'll be able to actually get uh, these the yields off here to be better. I mean, it's also canola, so it's it's not a, a great uh, amount of crop anyway. For the nine thousand liters that we're gonna have, 
yeah 1300 is the max so uh we, sh we should make 10,000 off these two fields uh it's just yeah that is all we're gonna make off these two fields auger in i'm gonna leave this combine down here for now because we have a couple of fields over that way that might be interesting to us uh, otherwise let's go and see if we have a uh storage to go and put this canola in and so at the end of the day we're gonna have a chance to take a look around the farm uh, i think this building here is a grain store if i remember correctly yes so this will tip into here rather nicely let's bring this around and uh, and get this in now we're gonna need to get hold of some feed for the animals i don't want to leave them too long without anything uh, we have only just got them and uh, of course we don't have any uh, any grass work yet uh, what we'll do i think is next game day we'll grab some mowers we'll cut the grass uh we'll row it up and we'll start making some grass and silage uh, we should be able to feed the cows grass we can feed the sheep grass uh, we'll have to buy some uh, well we have to buy some feed for the chickens because we don't have a wheat field at all anywhere and we can't feed them canola we've got a load of cows in here so there's our there's our cows in the in this field here looking uh looking very good they are not yet fully grown uh over here we have our horse so we've got a horse over here and then somewhere out the back over this way there are some sheep i'm not exactly sure where the sheep are um but uh we do have some sheep somewhere we have a quick look on the map yeah that is does not tell me where the sheep are amazingly let's turn on the animals that might help so horse cow pigs ah sheep are down the end there so uh there's a large greenhouse down there as well i don't know if that's ours what do we have in our productions yes we do have a large greenhouse as well so i think that trailer will probably convert that to a water trailer and get that going which means we're gonna need something with a front loader on it next time as well so plenty to be getting on with but uh, for our first day i think that's pretty good so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye